really hear me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain. Mambo Jumbo, my lovely people, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome to the Lazy Gang. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your love, for your support, comments, likes, and you know, being part of this Lazy Gang since when I began doing these reactions. Now, today, I don't have lots of stories to say. As you can see, you guys, the ones who are asking if I'm Muslim, <laughs> I will leave for you to conclude for yourself, all right? But of course, it's a celebration and this is in honor of my Muslim brothers and sisters. And on today's <clears throat> video, I'm going to be looking at Mara. Now, there's one thing that I have always wanted to speak about. And uh, I want really to get a lot of information on as well. Now, our brother yesterday, when he was sending this letter to his sister, this fake letter, like I said yesterday, he spoke about how he meets women, okay? And when he meets women, they are the ones who are making the moves, wanting to know him because one way or the other, they find out that he is a celebrity. And in that way, he is not the one who actually sends out himself to actively look for these women. <laughs> I was really laughing and I'm thinking, are we blind? Because these things, we actually see them on his videos. Mara is the first person to approach women. <clears throat> Let us agree, he's got, he, he's got the, the tactics, you know, he can really chat a lady and this lady can feel so special and when he comes in and calls you mom and I'm thinking, what is this? But he has knowledge, like he knows how to really chat women and how to attract and get women from the word go, okay? How many times have we seen him? How many times have we seen Marwa in his videos? actively ask for the numbers for these women their instagram he's asking them to send messages to, to his instagram account so that you know he can later chat or reply to what they sent so yesterday he made it look like these women are the ones who come after him and after his fame and after his money and uh, after knowing him and after they've grown themselves they actually go back, retract, and start talking trash behind him. And uh, basically, he tried to mean that people come to him, especially women, just to know him, use him, dump him. Mara, you said a lie. You are constantly in this women's DM. Let us take an example of this Polish lady, Paulina. You have been chatting this girl since she was, let's say, about 16 when she was not even legal guys and i don't want you people coming down on the comment section telling me that oh polish girls by 16 they're already adults that's none of my business that is in poland okay where i come from you are an adult when you reach 18 and even though it's very strange to find a fully grown man running after an 18 year old even 19 these are teenagers 20, 21, 22. Usually where I come from, uh, by the time you're done with university, so let's say about 23, 24, 25, then that is, you know, people look at it as now normal. You can go out and now, you know, introduce a boyfriend to your family, to your friends or something like that. Well, I try to believe like the world right now is so different, okay? These young girls are really growing up first. Like if you put an 18 year old next to me, you could actually think like I am the small little baby in this room. So I don't really <clears throat> support this whole idea of, you know, oh, in Poland by age 16, you are already a grown up. You are supposed to be, you know, doing grown up stuff. That doesn't make sense. So I'm really trying to also understand why Mara would go for these little girls, teenagers. Mara, why do you want teenagers? <laughs> why are you on the Instagrams of these teenagers? Because also looking at the videos that you've been doing even in the past, you will just approach little girls, ask for their names, their numbers, their Instagram accounts, ask them to send you messages. And I'm thinking this is a bit creepy. 
I don't know if you guys see it like that, but to me, I find it so creepy. All right, so now let's forget about that. It's very clear and evident that our brother loves these little teenage girls. Recently, when he was with Mutua and Anne, when they went to visit the Amish community, the Amish tribe, I was like, oh my God. After that, he went on and on of how by 16 years old, these girls from the Amish are free to go and experience the world and choose if they want to continue in the community, in the tribe. If not, they are thrown out of the tribe and they become of the world. And he kept on insisting like, you know, by 16 years old, these girls are adults. And he kept insisting on this point. And you see, one thing we've learned is uh, in the Amish community, when a girl is 16 years old, they can only study actually up to grade eight, right? Yes. That's number one. So they have to study up to grade eight. And when the girl is uh, 16 years old, she's left to explore the world, yeah, technically. It, it, and, and not only the girl, it's both the boys yes. and girls. Yes. So they'll go explore the world and see the English, test the English lifestyle. Yeah. Then once they test that, they will decide if they really want to keep being Amish or not. Yes. In that case, if, uh, if they decide to be Amish, they will go back to church and get baptized. So if you get baptized and then you decide to leave the Amish, your family rejects you and says to hell with you and everything. So you, they give you a chance. They give you a chance of, um, of you going out there and exploring the life of the English, which is we people who are not the Amish people. Then after that, they will let you decide if really, really you want to be Amish. So I think around 18 or 20 years you get baptized. Now you live the life they are living. So it's not like they are forced. Yeah. You know, other people may say, oh, you force people, you make them slaves and all that. No, it's not the case. When you are 16, you, you get freedom. Yeah. But remember, they don't study anything science in school. Yeah. Nothing science. They study only history and things like uh, just simple mathematics. Yeah. What was ringing in my heart, in my head, was actually something different. One, he was trying to push on this agenda because that is when the Poland girl story was running around right here on YouTube. And guys, remember, in uh, by 16 years old in Poland, or as a Polish, you are a fully grown adult. Okay, so he kept pushing this narrative that by 16 years old, ladies from the Amish tribe are considered adults. Now he goes ahead and says that he wants to go to uh, he wants to go back to the Amish community, and he was calling for anybody who is actually out here and knows anyone in the Amish community who can host him so that he can go there and experience that life because that life is what he resonates with we didn't show any face but i've seen videos on youtube where they're being filmed yeah especially yeah. youtubers who have gone there yeah guys if you know any amish person close to you yeah let them invite me to their home if mr mutua wants to come and arm yeah we are ready to go and experience also this whole thing even for a weekend yeah we can work in the farm, we have no problem. We can work in the we farm. Can milk the cows, we can milk we can the cows, the eggs. We'll do yes, anything. We'll do anything. Yeah. Oh, I see you. I can uh, also, for example, right now, I was looking for an Amish person. If you know somebody who is Amish and lives around here, you can connect to me. I want to go and live in their family for one or two days and film their life stories if they're okay. I know most of them don't like to be filmed, but some of them have been filmed. I've seen them in other YouTube, uh, YouTubers' channels. He said he's a very simple guy and the Amish people are the people he's found right there in the USA who lives a life that he embraces. Very many things went in my head. I was like, God, please, no. <laughs> we don't want anybody coming out here and saying that I'm from the Amish community. Come, I will host you for a week or two. Gladly, that hasn't happened yet. Okay? So now our brother is back there in the USA in Mutua's house 
doing house chores guys guys i'm very disappointed by the way i was the person who was here telling this guy to work and stop using dylan as a help <laughs> in ivan's house and now he goes over to kukugali in mutua's house and you guys went on and on and on bashing him that he doesn't know how to cook ugali that he is doing it wrongly in my head i was like god thank you this is something i'm actually seeing this guy do something in this house he was messy <laughs> it was a messy affair he cooked this ugali like the whole life or was it a premiere or something i was like oh my god what is this so now a guy is doing house chores in Mutua's house and you guys are not appreciative. Myself, I'm so excited. I'm like, yes, finally he's doing, putting in effort to even cook for Mutua and the wife when they went back to work after Easter holiday. Okay? So now he prepares Ugali for the first day. He's so messy. He's picking the bits that I've dropped on the cooker back into the cooker, licking his fingers. I don't know. Putting the cooking stick backward to where the flour is when it's wet. I was like, oh my God. Let me first wash my hands. Yes. So I'll be ready to cook. Right. Hey, this is Marwa. Yes. The most yeah, okay. moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This hey, is me, guys. Yeah. Come you know what, man? Please, let's show you what is this video. You know how my heart is beating. <laughs> this is your son. I don't, I don't want to let all this group down. This is your son in America yeah. showcasing his skills. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so maybe we'll film from this side yes. because this, the light is coming yes. from that side. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, more, yeah. it's yeah. more bright. Yes. Fine. Yeah. So it's not the uga, the original ugali that I know. It's the ugali. That's okay. the ugali we cook here. Yeah. Okay. That means you're gonna okay. you, you <laughs> love it. <laughs> Guys, I'm not trying to be okay. <laughs> I'm just making sure the playing field is, is on, on a good level, you know? Yeah. Because if I push myself with something new, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you're going to say I'm mixing. You have skills. Yeah, I do. It's like riding a bicycle. Once you know, yeah. you know. Yeah. And you know, in the university, I used to live alone. So I had to survive for like four years on my own cooking. So uh, you guys were kind of like cooking ugali and all that stuff. So in the university we used to cook everything, but you know, so now it's time again for me to add more and more. Sometimes we can that. Guys, for those who are joining us, joining us now, yeah. oh, man, are you filming right? Yes. Making the famous Kenyan food, Kenyan's cake. Yeah, yeah it's called ugali, ugali. It's a top famous guy here. If you're visiting, you're marrying a Kenyan or doing whatever, you have to eat ugali somehow. Yeah. So I'm just adding, I think I'm putting more than enough, but uh, if we need more, we shall add again. Just a little, little by little. Otherwise, you can mess the entire process. Mm. Oh, I feel like there's a lot of fire. Please, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, reduce for me the fire. Actually, I've messed up. <laughs> yeah, you've turned it off. Completely right. Yes. Yes, because it, it will have a different taste of. Uh, oh, yeah. Maybe I should cook it from here. Yeah. yeah. So. So now, according to Mara, he's not actually cooked ugali for three years. Okay. And when he is at home, he actually said that his mother always tells him not to touch anything, not to get into the kitchen. She'll be. Uh, she'll be doing all that work. You know on behalf of the family because she actually cooks for them that is evident we see it but that was another lie the mom is not at home until friday saturday then sunday she goes back to her work so she's on there probably two and a half days so what are you doing between sunday evening and uh, friday evening <laughs> if you were actively you know talking about doing house chores in your house then you and your siblings could actually be showing us what you do in the house when your mom is not there so to me that was a very big lie i disagreed i was like no that is not an excuse it's also not an excuse for you to say that your mom washes your clothes why is she washing your clothes get on go out fetch your water wash your clothes without alerting your mom let her find you washing your own laundry or doing your own laundry 
So Mara is here in Mutua's house doing all these house chores. You guys are bashing him and I'm like, yes, finally this guy is doing something, okay? So when he was doing this Ugali, actually, this is when he came out to say that he is looking for an Amish family so that they can host him. And I was like, God, crossing my fingers, uh -uh, don't let this happen, please. Because we know this guy is going to the Amish and going to get a girl or girls from that place. We already know his history, which is not really cool, really clear when it comes to praying on these very little young girls who actually haven't experienced life yet. Amish lifestyle. I'm so obsessed with the Amish lifestyle, actually, guys. If possible, I should actually even get an Amish girlfriend. I swear. I feel that's where my, my life belongs. Simple, a little out of the box, out of space. I need somebody to hold this camera for me, guys. But let me see if I, oh, let me see if I, you know? Oh, oh, oh. Let me see if I'll manage cooking the girl. Maro struggles to cook ugali in USA. These girls who really can't think for themselves. These girls who he's going to be using as sex toys. And later on, we know what will happen. There's no, what do you, what future do you have with an 18 year old as a 33, 34, 40 years old? <laughs> also yesterday I was laughing at that premiere where he was advising the sister where he said he actually doesn't know how old Dean Wango is maybe 24 maybe 25 he is not really sure and I was like how old is anyone in this house you know how old is Marwa Dean Wango David Jr how would I not know how old my immediate sibling is doesn't make sense anyway let's just forget about their ages and everything else now I'd love for Mara one day. Please, Mara, come out tell us why you love teenage girls. <laughs> Is that going to be hard to tell us? <laughs> come out tell us why you love teenage girls. It doesn't make sense. To me, at least, it does not. Maybe to some people, it does. But if I'm to give you an age of ladies that you should be dating, let me give you 24 and above okay those are your kind of women women who know what they want women who are working women who can think for themselves so that you don't have to be working on these other teenagers doing whatever you'll be doing because now they can't defend themselves because you know they are young these are kids come on guys what do you want to be discussing with a kid unless you just want to bed them and that is it all right so Ramara was out with Mutua and Mutua was actually trying to advise him on the kind of women that he should be dating because you know they're just trying to kill time and guys this again is in Mutua's YouTube channel Mara is on there controlling this channel and Mutua like it is his own channel so now I want us to listen to what Mutua was advising Marwa and about his polygamous you know nature and how he wants to be having lots of kids with different women let us listen to what Mutua had to advise our little brother Frederick Mara. So, Mr. Mtua, you have yes. any questions for me, Mr. Mtua? Well, um, yes. Uh huh. Uh, very sensitive question. Okay, very sensitive. <laughs> Amish or no Amish? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is it. Amish or English? Me and Amish. Amish full time. Wow. G guys, you had for yourself. Yes. Amish or English? Um, Amish. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, we know, Mara, uh, you've always said that uh, you're going to be polygamous. Yeah. So... You know, actually, uh, so I, you can have Amish, yeah. you can have English. English. Uh, I don't know. But I, actually, I feel like the life of Amish is our life in Africa. So three Amish? No, I mean, I mean like... Uh, the life we saw that Amish people live. I think you also need one crazy, crazy girl. Yeah. So one child, another crazy one. 
Yeah, look at you know? <laughs> <laughs> I can drive you crazy a little bit. Yeah, look that duck. Cool you down. Oh, oh. that guy beat the duck. I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, I think even the duck felt bad. I think it will um, go now. Yeah. It will not stand there. Mm-hmm. You don't run away from the topic now. Okay, I'm not running away. So, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. You know what to do when that time comes. I'm just praying God, yeah, you know, I'm like things. I'm, and I'm issue one, you know, I can't wait to see her pushing that more. Oh. Uh, <laughs> definitely. You need a crazy one to party with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You one who won't go to Mahali with you. <laughs> oh, guys, uh, it's just a boring conversation. In a boring day in America. <laughs> Yes, uh, just chilling here. Guys, did you see how Mora was trying to, you know, get out of topic, trying to escape that whole conversation when Mutua was actually giving him advice? That is the kind of a person he is. He really never wants to listen to what people have to tell him. He wants to do things by himself. And yet again, pretend that he was on here yesterday advising his little sister, Dimwango, about relationships, love, and how <laughs> he is going to be defending her and how she has to report to him before, you know, she starts dating someone. I don't know if he wants to vet them. I have got no idea. But basically, our brother Marwan never listens to any advice from anybody. Not his parents, not Mutua right now, and not, definitely not his friends. I don't know what you guys think. Please drop your comment down below if you are not subscribed and would love to subscribe. Always feel free to do so and I will definitely see you in my next video. Bye-bye.